Naruto, 11 Things You Didn't Know About the Kanoha 11 So much is revealed about the Kanoha 11 throughout Naruto, making them well-rounded and well-thought-out. The Kanoha 11 live deep in the hearts of Naruto fans for their character growth and their camaraderie in protecting the Hidden Leaf Village. So much is revealed about each character throughout the show, making them well-rounded and well-thought-out. As the characters move into a more passive role as the next generation takes over in the Boruto series. It can be hard for fans to let go of their attachments to the Kanoha 11. 11. Hinata was kidnapped during the Hyuga affair. During Niji and Naruto's fight as part of the Chunin exams, Niji reveals that the Hyuga clan was involved in a scandal that resulted in his father's death. As a child, Hinata was kidnapped by Shinobi from the village hidden by clouds, and in a bid to rescue her, the transgressing Shinobi were killed. The hidden cloud village demanded that the leader of the Hyuga clan be executed. But Niji's father went instead. While this fact about Niji's father is well known, it is often forgotten that Hinata was the one kidnapped. 10. Niji is the namesake of Hinata Naruto's son, Boruto. Fans were devastated and the franchise killed off one of its popular characters, Niji Hyuga. In Boruto, Niji's spirit lives on. As his name is the inspiration for Boruto's. This makes sense, as Hinata and Naruto would have been close with Niji, as he would have been part of their extended family after their marriage. Additionally, Naruto played a large role in mending the relationship between the two cousins after he and Niji's fight in the Chunin exams. Furthermore, Hinata Boruto, which plays off the word bolt, is an homage to the late Hyuga prodigy, as the name Niji means screw. 9. Shikamura The rest of the Nara clan keep deer in the forests of Kanoha. After Shikamaru's fight with Haydn, during which he wanted to get revenge for Haydn killing his beloved sensei. Asuma Sarutobi, Shikamaru buries Haydn's body parts. Haydn, who is immortal, could have found a way to come back and haunt Shikamaru, so to monitor Haydn, Shikamaru buries him in the forests of Kanoha where the Nara clan takes care of deer. There, the deer can keep a constant watchful eye on Haydn. The Nara clan keeping deer within the hidden leaf echoes the real-life Japanese town of Nara, which is famous for its deer. 8. Shino was almost forcibly recruited by Danzo Shimura. Shino Aburame is famous for his overpowered, and slightly concerning, bug jutsu. The Aburame clan is a group of bug-taming shinobi that trade their chakra for help from their beetles. Throughout the original Naruto series, it is often noted that Shino is an incredibly strong fighter, though he usually keeps a low profile. At one time, Danzo Shimura, the leader of the secret evil army within Kanoha Sai belonged to, wanted to recruit Shino Aburame. However, Toryun, Shino's adopted brother and also an Aburame clan member, joined Danzo instead. 7. Sakura opened a children's clinic with Ino. After the events of Naruto, Shippuden, Sakura is finally given the character development she deserved throughout the Naruto franchise. This comes in the form of the light novel, Sakura Haydn. During the events of this story, Sakura and Ino open a children's clinic. This illustrates the growth Sakura has undergone. At the beginning of Naruto, when she is first placed on a team with Naruto and Sasuke, she puts her foot in her mouth by insensitively talking about children with no parents. 6. Ino's prized possession is the flower she gave to Sakura as kids. It is undoubted that Ino Yamaka truly cares for Sakura Haruno, with whom she shares a bitter rivalry, even if she did not originally want to. When Sakura and Ino are finally pitted against one another during the preliminary fights of the Chunin exam's third stage, their past is revealed through flashbacks. As kids, Ino stood up for Sakura and tried to give her confidence by likening her to a flower. 
According to data books, the flower Eno gives Sakura during one of these talks is her prized possession. Though, she no longer has it. 5. Choji is not the only Konoha 11 shinobi with a big appetite. Choji Akimichi is, without a doubt, the series foodie. He is feared far and wide for his hatred of someone else taking the last bite of his snacks. While Choji may be known for his endless appetite, there is one character who can give him a run for his money. In Boruto, the wall of Ichiraku Ramen has the picture of the reigning queen of gluttony. Hinata Hyuga, now Naruto's wife. She became the unexpected winner of this auspicious title by dominating a ramen eating competition. 4. Kiba Akameru share the same birthday. Kiba and Akameru share an unbreakable and deep bond that allows them to overcome many obstacles. During his battle with one of the Sound Ninja Five during the Sasuke recovery arc, we see just how much he cares for his pup when Akameru is injured in battle. The two share more than just a bond though, they also share a birthday, and they celebrate these anniversaries together. Though Akameru is getting older by the time of the Boruto series, it is undeniable that these two will always be inseparable. 3. Rock Lee never gets to fight Niji. As a result of one of the show's greatest tragedies, Niji Hyuga's death during the Fourth Shinobi War, Rock Lee never gets to achieve his goal of fighting Niji to prove he is a splendid ninja without using ninjutsu. This is a letdown because the series spent so much of the Chunin exam arc building up the rivalry between the two. However, by the end of the series, fans agree that Rock Lee has proved himself time and time again, even if the show doesn't like to let. 2. Ten Ten looked up to Tsunade mentioned her before her introduction to the anime. Though she does not appear until after the death of the third Hokage, seeds of Tsunade's existence are planted well in advance of her arrival. In a flashback during the Lee vs. Gara fight as part of the Chunin exams, Ten Ten mentions to Mike Guy and her new teammates that she wants to be like Tsunade. She wanted to be a medical ninja. Following in the footsteps of the Sanin, but throughout the series, she demonstrates that she lacks the fine chakra control and skill to become a medical ninja. Instead, she proves herself a capable weapons master and a great fuinjutsu sealing techniques user. 1. Naruto ditches his goggles because Kishimoto got tired of drawing them. When fans first meet Naruto, he is a loud-mouthed, orange-clad, goggle-wearing menace to society. According to Kishimoto, Naruto ditched his iconic first-season goggles for a regulation ninja headband because it was taking too much time to draw them. A cute detail that Kishimoto includes later on in the series is to have the young Konoamaru don goggles as a homage to his boss. Naruto, until he too becomes old enough to make genin. It seems goggles are much less taxing to draw when on a side character. <laughs> 